Ostara. Ostara is often when Wiccans mark the start of spring. Both Wiccans and witches will celebrate this time of year, and here in the British Isles, the first signs of spring actually begin at Imolk, when the snowdrops bloom and the lambs are appearing in the fields. However, at Ostara, we truly see nature coming into blossom with the black thorn and its white blossoms lining hedgerows, forsythia in our gardens bursting into golden bloom, and daffodils absolutely everywhere. In other parts of the world, this may still seem at least a month away, if not more, and the land is still under several feet of snow. However, the days are getting noticeably longer, and the spring equinox is arriving where the tipping point happens and the days become longer than the nights. We see the play of balance, of honor, both in the light and the dark half of the year. We honor both the light and the dark at this time of year. The spring equinox, or vernal equinox, occurs between the 20th and the 22nd of March. The word equinox is Latin for equal night. It is also known as Ostara, Estra, or by its Welsh name Alban Eilir, which means the light on the earth. It is a time when day and night are of equal length, and the sun rises and sets due east and west respectively. In modern witchcraft, we have the Wheel of the Year, with Ostara as a spring festival. Here, the young solar god is learning his individuation from the mother goddess, and he is coming into his own power. The moon goddess pulls at the seas, with the spring tides affecting all coastal areas, especially this year, 2019, when the equinox happens at the time of the full moon. We celebrate the growing power of the sun god, and the fertility of the mother goddess as we see nature blooming all around us. Ostara comes from the northern European goddess Estra, also from which we get the term Easter. It's thought linguistically that this comes from the Proto-Indo-European root word to shine, from which we also get our word East. She is seen as a goddess of spring, fertility, dawn and new beginnings, and is associated with hares and, of course, eggs. The constellation Orion, which strides boldly across the sky during the winter months, is now close to the horizon and will disappear for the summer months to come. Instead of the hunter, we have the herdsman appearing from the constellation Boots, the herdsman. The concept of balance was playfully enacted during this time, when it's said that you are able to balance an egg on its end at the precise moment of the equinox, though I have yet to succeed at that. Eggs would be a welcome sight at this time of year for our ancestors, whose hens stopped laying over the long dark nights of winter, and who would have begun laying at this time of year. Hares were held in high regard for the ancient Celts and it was only legal to hunt a hare on the day of the spring equinox in order to bring fertility into your life. The chocolate eggs and rabbits of today are a reflection of these older memories. The spring equinox is an excellent time to honor the liminal both in nature and in your own self. It's an in-between time a time when everything is held in balance. It's a good time to watch the sun rise and the sun set, for at this point it will rise due east 
and set due west. And you can orientate yourself and your space to this direction for all your magical and mystical workings. The spring equinox is a time to celebrate the tide of spring, the balance point between day and night, both outside in nature and within our own souls. Blessings of Ostara to you all. Thank you.